But here we are at Mocha GA for, um, actually I can't pronounce your name, can you tell me who you are? <laughs> it's Martijn van Wachtenonk, but forget the last name, just Martijn. Okay, Martijn. Uh, he's got an installation here at Mocha GA called? Trickle into a lower chamber. And it's, it's over in the other room and we'll look at it in a minute, but it, can you tell me a little bit about it? <laughs> That's such an open question, I'm not sure if I can answer that. Huh. But, um, uh, can I tell you a little bit about it? Well, it, it it's big. Okay. Um, and uh, that might sound stupid, but it's so big that it took two weeks to install here. It mm -hmm. took like probably about a year to get it all together. Mm -hmm. um, there are many kinetic elements, and as you can tell from the little ticker over here, there's actually sound involved with it too, mm -hmm. which stems from um, the mechanical parts that are happening. So I guess it's kind of a room-filling sculptural kinetic mm -hmm. environment um, that doesn't really say anything about it unless you see it and maybe it makes a little sense then. Right. Well, I mean, um, makes a little sense. It, it is big. Um, why, why did you make it so big? I, I always thought of wanting to do something small because the previous thing was big and it's it's labor intensive and gets very tiring. Um, but ultimately, I really want the viewer to be part of it. Like they need to be um, in the piece. Um, so instead of imagining them being in it, I actually literally want them to be in it. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it ends up being everything relating to the size of our body. So if a building has to be a building, it can be this big because it has to be as big as our body relates to it. So I guess that's why things end up being as big as they are. So there's a, sorry, there's a 20 foot building in there. There's like a 16 foot boat in there. There's a sta staircase that rises 16 feet high. And so our body can relate to that. So it's uh, experiential, I guess. That's a, okay. that's a beautiful word for it. Okay. Yes. So it's a sculpture that you experience. Um, and I understand that you have uh, education in not only sculpture, but also in uh, animation and video. Yep. Does that then play into these different elements that you incorporate in the installation? I think they really do. I mean, the time element really became part of it. Although I have to say it's kind of funny that when I left the sculpture program, I left with two plastic bags full of videotapes, um, um, film loops, audio tapes, and that was it. And then when I left the animation program, I had to rent this 20-foot truck because I had these huge sculptural elements uh -huh. that um, I made when I was in film school. So it almost seemed like a contradiction, but apparently when I was in, in, in grad school for sculpture, I figured out there's a time element that I need uh -huh. to emphasize. And then when I got to play with the time element, all the sculptural elements came back. Uh -huh. Um, and do you think that um, art in general is kind of moving into that sort of mixed media and where people kind of change things up? I mean, animation and sculpture and painting and photography and things like that. Do you think that's happening a lot more now? I, I, well, it, it has been happening and maybe it's happening more. Um, you know, you can go to school now to do that, where maybe in the 60s there wasn't necessarily an area in an art school that would allow you to learn about that. But now it's become much more part of like... Uh, whatever you want to call it, the vocabulary of art. And, um, and although I do think that it's still somewhat sculptural, it doesn't really matter if it fits within the sculpture or if it fits within the painting. So it, it, I think there's an added part to it. It's not that it necessarily replaces anything, but we have more that we can do. Basically, we can do whatever we want. Uh -huh. um, and it's also kind of funny. There's a little surprise in there. Um, and it, it's nice to see that element of humor in it. Uh, did, how, did you, how did you think about incorporating the humor into the piece? I have no idea. It's really funny that you say that because um, all my other pieces have that element of funniness in them too. And it's not, well, maybe it's because I don't want my work necessarily to be so serious. I mean, yeah. art, uh, I mean, come on, ultimately we go to have a little bit of fun, right? We don't go to a museum to be all like depressed and stuff. So I am aware of that. Um, but it's not that I'm like, okay, now I try to be funny. Right, sure. Whenever I try to be funny, it doesn't work. <laughs> but I'm really glad that you, that you kind of made that observation because everything I do, there is this element of kind of like, yeah, it puts a smile on your face. And that's good. All right. I like that. And uh, how long is the show here? March 21st. <laughs> all right, through March 21st. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.